Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Starting up for a super chill evening stream right here. Hope you're all doing well tonight. I have mail. Also, I'm wearing this really weird outfit because I had Gracie come to my town. Um, I think it was yesterday she popped up. So I had to pick a modern outfit. So my outfit's kind of weird today. Um, hi, how are you doing? I had the sudden urge to write you a letter and here I am with pen in hand. Let's chat soon, okay? That's nice. Sky often sends me letters. More than the other animals for sure. So it's nice to have a letter from her. But yeah, I'm wearing this like really weird outfit. It's It looks okay in the end. Turns out modern is quite a difficult gracy um, category to go for. So I had to kind of scrape together what I had. Mac. You have fleas, dude. You gotta like sort that out, man. Um, here, let me just go check my lucky item for a start here. Um, a mag gamer. I'm just playing on my own today, friend. Anyways, um, yeah. Hi, Mint Swimming. Hi, Surf Monkey. How hot is it where you are? Um, it's not too bad. It's like 19, 20 degrees. Um, but it's quite um damp so it feels worse than it is but it's, it's not terrible it is kind of warm though fortune today for taurus is there's a storm brewing in your love life if you sense tension you'd be wise to back off a little oh no <laughs> a modern top well hey guess what i'm wearing right now a modern top i guess it's to be don't don't look at my front room it's like <laughs> real bad <laughs> it's such a mess 29 degrees where you are? Holy moly. That's way too hot. <laughs> it shouldn't be that hot. Um, hey Dan, what's on the cards for today? Um, well I'm just gonna do like all my basic chores just because I haven't, well, I have played today but I only played to check who the special visitor was so I didn't miss it. Um, and it was Gulliver. So I, I logged in, said hi to Gulliver and then promptly left. So I just gotta do all my my normal daily chores here and then we'll see what happens. Tammy. Hello. I have a shirt in my inventory that I really want her to have. So we're gonna talk to Tammy until she gets bored of me and then we'll see if she takes the shirt or not. She's wanting furniture. I don't think I have anything for you. You know? I don't think I do. It's kind of weird how you have to put the shovel away, but certain tools you don't have to put away when you talk to animals. Oh, also, yes. Thank you for reminding me, Tammy. Harry is moving out. Um, I think he's still got a few days to go, but he is moving, so we can carry on with our plans for making our little zen garden area over by the, um, the town hall, because that's where his house is. Tammy, you don't want to take the thing that I have for you? I assume, I mean, I assume they can take dresses and just wear it as a shirt because it's a, it's a dress. Um, but I'm assuming that's fine. Like I have this polka dot dress for her. Oh God, <laughs> no. <laughs> Do not hit her with the shovel. This is not the plan. Ugh, don't think she's going to do it. All right, we'll leave her alone. We'll come back and talk to her later. But yeah, um, <clears throat> Harry, Harry is moving, which is pretty good. I think I really want um, Tammy to move because her house is in the way very much so. But I think even more than that, I want Mac to move because I want to move my second player into that spot where his house is. Assuming it'll fit, I think it will. I know the house plots are... Um, five across so I think it'll be okay it'll be a little bit of a tight fit we have a campsite person today it's kind of cool let me go see who this is uh no Dan I haven't visited your town yet your dream I will do so though oh my gosh what's your name again I've forgotten Sparrow of course man I had Robin turn up and now we have another bird turning up. We don't want him in our town though. 
we got Robin this way, um, was it like last week, week before? So I'm always excited when the tent appears, but on this occasion it was not giving us anybody that we wanted. Try and get my money rock here. Have you ever played Bayonetta or Bayonetta 2? I have not, but I own the special edition that came with both games for the um, Switch. Came with both both carts physically. So I do intend to play them, but no, I, I haven't played them as of this moment in time. Do, 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 do. It's kind of the, the, the in weather, the in weather. <laughs> the in weather game, the in game weather is much like what it is in real life right now. <laughs> Um, this is a thing, so like, I think it was last week I was pondering what to do with bushes and stuff. So for right now I've got this diamond shape that kind of mimics the other side with the fountain here. Don't really know if it's good, but we're, we're gonna complete it and see how it goes. Because my plan is, I think I would just fill the entire center area here with flowers. So it's kind of something that you can walk into because I've left space but probably something you wouldn't walk into, so I don't know. It, it looks okay. I think it'll make a lot more sense when it's fully done. Say hi to Biscuit here, he's also got his shovel out. How's it going? It's going okay. Something you want to give to Frita? I mean, if you're hungry, you know Frita's house is like, full of food. <laughs> Her house is great. We'll go give this to her, that's no bother though. Today, no problem. I shall do it right now because I'll probably forget if I don't do it right now. So we'll head down to Frita, see if she's in her house. Otherwise, we'll have to walk around a little bit here. She is out and about, okay. Well, we'll see if we can find her. Just looking around for fossils and such at the moment. I also need to water a lot of flowers. Oh look, it's another Jacob's Ladder for the collection. Here's Frita, as if by magic. How's it going? Um, I, oh she changed her catchphrase to Shirley. That's um, Carlos' catchphrase. The heck Frita? Um, here you go, a parcel for you. Not from Marcel though, it's from Biscuit. <laughs> a screen. Well, she's happy with her screen. What have you got for me? Furniture. A ranch tea table. All right. Well, thanks for that, honey. I better go um, go talk to Biscuit <laughs> so he knows. Oh, here's Harry. Yeah, finally got him to wear the Misty shirt. I'm not talking to you, bud. You're moving out. I still don't know if he can change his mind, but I, I can't risk it. I cannot risk it. They take so long to move out that I'm not taking any chances. Where'd Biscuit go? He was up and around here. Hello? Uh, we'll find him. Um, I don't know if I'd visit on stream or not. We could, maybe. Um, I'm not sure. Today's kind of like a weird day. Um, I don't know if I, I don't think I'll need to end early, but I might, we'll see how it goes. Um, I've had a bit of a crazy weekend, so I'm still kind of recovering from that. Um, how many parts of Dragon Quest IX do you record at once? Usually I do three, so I'll do three for the, the week. Um, unless it takes longer than expected. <laughs> which has happened a couple times and sometimes I'll only record two just because of having to cut parts out or you know just not having enough time because the videos have been generally speaking they're, they're about half an hour long but the recording will be you know closer to 50 minutes or whatever because of cutting things out like I said so it's yeah I, I try and do three at once um, but it doesn't it doesn't always happen It's been okay recently, but 
yeah, <laughs> it's really tough trying to fit the story points around not having videos that are too long. Because I think any more than half an hour is too long. But they've been hovering real close to half an hour, so it's it's bit it's been a bit difficult for me to try and manage that. Hey Starlight, thanks for the follow, friend. Welcome. Let me just put my my Jacob's ladder in in this little place here. I think I'm right in saying that Jacob's ladder improves chances of hybrid flowers appearing. I think that's a thing because I've got one down on the beach where I'm trying to get hybrid roses at the moment. There's a weed. Pull it. Um, so yeah, we'll go down and water all the flowers. Oh, what did I do? I got some meow coupons. I don't know what I did, but I'll take it. Here, let me go check. Do, do. Ah, gotcha. Man, the petal tail dragonfly, I still don't have one. It's really irritating. Um, I play during the time and one doesn't appear. It's, it's very annoying. I think I'm gonna have to get one from the island. Whoops. <laughs> just dug a random hole. I feel like I'm gonna have to get one from the island just because like, I don't see them spawning ever. So, meh. Man, look at these two mosquitoes chasing me. Get out of here. How many fossils do I have? Okay, I got all four. Nice. We can go ahead and start watering all of our flowers then. We'll start on the other side of the bridge here. Some some big fishies. I'm not gonna catch it though. Don't need any fishies. Alright, let's get watering stuff. Do you have any tips for someone who wants to start let's playing or streaming? Um, I guess I'd say, um, do just play games that you really, really love or you know a lot about. <laughs> there, ha It has to be one or the other, I think, unless you're doing stuff blind, in which case I can't really help you because that's not really the kind of thing I do. But um, definitely if you're sort of in the market for more of a walkthrough style thing like I do, Pick games that are like your your favorite or just something that you, you've researched a lot and then that way you'll have stuff to talk about. Because the worst thing I think is not having stuff to talk about and then it just feels kind of awkward or boring. So as long as you can keep talking, I honestly think that's the most important thing. And it's definitely something that you learn and you get better at, for sure. Um, so to start off, I think I've said this before, but um, your first thing should be something that's kind of short, like a really short game, like something that's going to be under 10 videos. And then that way you've finished, you've started something, finished it, and you probably learned something along the way that you can apply to the next thing that you're doing. I think hopefully that makes sense. I think start off small and then work your way up because your, your skills will improve you know, as, as you do more. So you don't want to start off with your sort of dream series because in like a few months time you're probably going to be a, a lot better and therefore you'll be able to do it more proud, I suppose. Um, yeah, ho hopefully that helps. <laughs> it's kind of a weird one, for sure. Because like, I can't imagine starting it in this sort of day and age when I started like so like almost well, 10 years ago um it's a weird one but yeah ho hopefully that helps <laughs> I feel like I'm waffling a bit did I water this I did been trying to catch a coelacanth and it was raining in your town at 3 p.m and they only appear before four between four and nine yeah coelacanths are annoying see I thought that they were all day for the longest time and then it was only recently when I was trying to catch one for this town I was like oh they don't appear until after four but for some reason I had it in my head that they appeared all day during rain or snow but uh, nope <laughs> not not that way here let me water this 
See, I'm, I'm breeding the red carnations. I don't have the pink one, which means I can't make the white one. So I'm gonna have to obtain that somehow to get all the carnation flowers going. But wait, I don't think I found my money rock. Did I find my money rock? I don't think I did, you know. Yeah, all my, all my yellow flowers are looking real good here. Got the blue and the purple and the white. Are you all good? Perfect. I just gotta maintain things, you know. I could put the beautiful town ordinance on, but I, again, I do plan on letting weeds grow in my town as soon as I've got my, my perfect town status for a couple weeks I can get the, uh, the watering can. But yeah, once Hattie's gone, his house is here, it'll be gone and we can kind of continue this bamboo-y, zen garden-y place that I want to make. Let me just go talk to Isabel and make sure that I'm still all good for um, perfect town status. Just in case. I don't think I've chopped down any trees or anything, but I just want to double check. Um, citizen satisfaction. Alright, cool. Still the best town ever. Fantastic. Good news. I need to remember and talk to her every day because I don't remember how long it's actually been perfect. <laughs> so I need to keep on top of that so I can get my watering can. Speaking of which, I don't need this anymore. Um, I could go plant those red roses down at the beach though, for sure. I don't know if I need more carnations, actually. Let me double check. I think it's over here I still need carnations. Ah, so I've actually just got the last one. Well, technically I don't need to breed these anymore, so I may as well remove them from the beach. Oh, you had an interview, Dan? On the 21st, you haven't heard anything since? Man, I wouldn't be too worried. I think give it at least a full week um, before you think about contacting them. Because some sometimes they say we'll let you know within X amount of time, which is really good. Other times they don't say that and you're kind of like, well, what, what do? Did I not water these? Oh no, I did. We're all good. But um, I hope you get the job or whatever it is, regardless. Um, my, my problem that I find is that I will apply for things and not hear back. So, I mean, it's obviously a no, but I don't know that it's a no because they haven't, you know, sent me something back. So I definitely feel your pain with regards to that side of things, not hearing back from people can be very frustrating. I don't think I checked this rock, so this one's probably it. If not, it'll be the one next to the town hall. And if it's not that, then I've done something real dumb. Actually, I don't think I checked the one next to my house. That's probably the other one here. That's really bad positioning. I don't remember if we checked this one either, so we'll we'll just go ahead and do it now. I'm always very worried with this rock because it's so close to flowers. I'm worried about digging up the flowers accidentally. We're not going to be able to get everything because I have to pick up bells, but that's okay. We are definitely not short of money, that is for sure. Just fill in these holes. Um... What was my good luck today? In love, so that means male villagers. Man, I, I mean, I need good luck with Tammy, really. So it's not ideal. Let me put this away. I'm holding on to this last item to try and get it to become not lost anymore and then I can place it in my house as just like an aesthetic piece. So that's why I'm holding on to it and not trying to return it, because I'm a terrible person. Oh hey, Penelope's here. It's been a while. Yeah, it's me. Oh, it's kind of nice how the villagers can come back. They don't really say very much, but it's just nice to see them out and about, you know? It's pretty cool. 
Blathers, my man. I have fossils. Here. It's been a long time since I've actually had something that I can donate to the museum. Because <laughs> we're very nearly complete. So I'm still working- see, there's nothing. <laughs> I'm still working on my miniature fossil collection. Let me just double check. Yeah, we don't have anything. So, yeah, I'll, I'll go double check my, um, my fossils. I think I've- I don't know, I've probably got about half of them at this point. I should really make a list, it'd be easier to- So what I would get- a Pato, Iguanodon, Triceratops, T-Rex. Um, do we need any of these things? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Alright, well we can sell all of this then. That is just fine. Yeah, because I'm putting all my, my little fossils in this room over here. And eventually it'll be full up. But these are all my little fossils that I've made so far. So we're getting there. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. I'm missing... um some pieces from the the really big fossils, the one that have like the neck and the chest pieces as well. And it always seems to be that way. And I don't really know why, because even though there's more pieces to complete, the amount of times that I've completed other fossil sets seems weird. So I don't know if they're just rare or full stop, or how it works, but hey ho. It's not like I have anything else to do with fossils, so just keep on looking. Okay, it's Batman Carlos. <laughs> still looks like Batman. So I'm I'm still buying um, tops every day because I think I have all of the bottoms for my catalog. So what I'm doing at the moment is just buying the tops because I know I have all of the shoes except for the one pair that you can get from Gulliver and I have all of the accessories and I think I have all the hats as well so I don't need to go next door. I think the only things I'm missing are items from Gracie Grace which I'll get hopefully in two weeks. We've had two visits from Grace so far. Um, let me go in here see if they have any bushes that I need. Hi the Bella Dragon. Welcome friend. Hope you're doing well. Leaf, do you have any hydrangea shoots? Not this one. Oh, that's the thing. Um, I bought my 50th sapling, so I have the golden axe now, for real. So that's kind of cool. He has a pink one. I don't actually know if I need pink ones. But I'll keep it anyway in case I want to extend the pattern that I've made. I'm still- I'm, I'm not sure if I like it or not. <laughs> I'm very sort of- indecided. Am I gonna be able to do a, a shrunk thing? I think he's still... I don't think KK's around yet. Also I'm looking- I want the shabby mailbox and I think I want a different style of door. So I'm popping in here every day as well just to check because I really like the the shabby one that appears outside your tent at the start of the game. I like to have that one. Um, I've got apples. I don't have any room, jeez. So let's see if Shrunk is around and we'll get an emotion from him. Hello? You're doing good? Nice. I'm doing okay. It's a little bit warm here where I am, so I'm a little bit too warm, which sucks. But aside from that, good. Okay, um, you can have this perfect apple because I am very generous. <laughs> We'll see what he has for us today. A perfect apple, I know. Yum. <laughs> the text is so big. Alright, let's see what we got here. Mischief joke. My nose? I'm very sensitive about my nose. So you better watch out what you're saying about my red triangle nose. Wow. Rude. 
the hell, Shrunk? Why you gotta be so rude? Mischief. I think I'm making like pretty good progress. Yeah, look at this. Oh, I'm almost at a page and a half. <laughs> Looks so evil. <laughs> and then Shrunk gets all worried. <laughs> oh no. He was very rude to me. I just gave him a perfect apple and everything. Jeez. Alright, we need to run to retail and get rid of some of this stuff. Do you still play your Wii U? Um, I haven't in a long time. There are Wii games I still need to play, but I haven't played it in, in quite some time. Oh, Tammy? Teddy? I, I like you saying Teddy, I gave you that catchphrase. Don't change it. <laughs> All right, I'll go talk to you in a second. I want to give you a new shirt. Let me just go sell some stuff at retail and then I'll feel a little bit better in case she asks for furniture or something. So I don't want to give her anything. I want her house to stay as close to the original as possible. Um, would she? She might like the black denim jacket, you know? Eh. I think the polka dot or the toad, the toad dress is probably better though. I need to go deposit some money. Dang. That doesn't happen very often. Go do a deposit. I don't actually know what my bells are up to at the moment. I know I got, I got like the 15,000 letter or 15 million letter, like, recently-ish. Do I need any more pink? No, I don't need to plant any more pink. So I need blue ones for here. Blue hydrangea shoots, and then one more for right here. Teddy. Teddy Tabby. Where'd she go? Animals always do this. You leave for like one second, and then they just vanish off the face of the earth. Hello? <laughs> Tammy, I need my megaphone. Hello? Like actual, where is she? <laughs> Tammy, I know you're a ninja and everything, but you really gotta like, not run away so much. I can hear Mac, cause I can hear his fleas. Did she come over the, Tammy? How did you do that? Um, let's chat. <laughs> I don't want to do any of her favors. Yes, I know they were made from by someone from any town. That's why I want to change them. <laughs> Dang it, please. Pretty please. She's not gonna do it, is she? Man, there's so many villagers around here. Rita and Mac. The burger duo. <laughs> Burger, Geo, Mac, and t and uh, Frita. Right. I've had enough of you, Tammy. You need to hurry up and move out or change your shirt or something. Something needs to happen. I'm not happy about it. Just letting you know that I'm unhappy. <laughs> and someone's planting flowers around here. Pick them all up. Here's Harry. See, Harry wore a shirt eventually. Look how good he looks in his new shirt. He looks super cool. Um, so I need to hold on to this stuff. I should probably go check the island, see what we've got in stock today. Because I gotta know. Yeah, it's a flying visit, Captain. I just want to check. Watch the stupid toy hammer be in stock and then I have to grind for stupid medals. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Wonder if you get badges for the emotions? I don't think you do. You get, um, Shrunk's jacket when you have all of them, but I, I don't think there's badges for it. Alright, let's listen to Cap'n. 
Dude, he's singing the tug of war again. He sings that every time. We don't listen to that. <laughs> I swear, every time we go to the island, it's that same song. Alright, well, we got green wetsuit. I have it. Cabana table. I have it. And I do not need any shrubs. So we are going straight home. <laughs> oh, so exciting. Yes, I want to go home. <laughs> See if he sings something better on the way back. The sky's nice. We're about to go back into the clouds, but for now it's nice. song. That was a really nice one. Aww. So wholesome. Aww. Such a wholesome Cap'n song. Aww. That was great. It's a shame we couldn't bring the weather with us, gee. It's like, I'd rather it be raining and then we get the cool music or sunny. This, this like, cloudiness with no rain, it's no good. It's really no good. See you later, Captain. Go back to your, your baby girl. Alright. Do we have things to do? We need to sell a couple things. I'll go put some money in the account. We'll see where we're at. Oh! Oh! No! Wait! Stop! Hold up! Huh! Oh, baby! This is it! Where are you going? Oh, yes! Just as I was talking about it earlier! They're so big! That scared the crap out of me! They're so big! It may be big, but I'm bigger. <laughs> Excuse me? Pardon? <laughs> oh, I was just talking about it as well. Finally some good luck. Wow. I feel like recently the bug catching and fish catching luck has just been very poor. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to go do some diving now. Holy crap. So I still need to get the house centipede from hitting rocks with a shovel which I think is after seven. And I still need to get the turban shell from diving for August, and then I'll be done with August. Oh, the petal tail though, I know, jeez. You caught an ocean sunfish today as a constellation for the coelacanth? Nice, good job. Oh man, um, I have a donation, it's a real whopper. You ready for this one? They're huge. They're absolutely massive. <laughs> yeah, it's a real big one. Sorry, Blathers. Oh man, that's so good though. Oh, that feels real good. In your game you've got three birdwing butterflies. Man, they're like more common definitely than the petal tail, but I don't feel like I see them very often. We actually got the stupid... <laughs> That was why it was giving me the research. It knew. I wonder if that increases spawns or if it's completely unrelated. That would be very interesting if that actually increased spawns. Clear water initiative? Oh man. I don't need to do any fishing, but I suppose we could try for that. Here, let's look at my thing. It's looking pretty full. Here's the petal tail. So big. It was crazy big. Um, we're doing pretty good though, for sure, on our collection. So I'm literally missing those two things. One bug and one diving thing. And then for August we're done, and there's quite a lot in September. But September is a weird month because it kind of splits the month in two for the, the salmon migration and stuff. Um, 
So yeah, we'll need to work on catching some salmon and all the other kind of odd bits and pieces. Oh, I'm just going to deposit some bells. Clipton, you're not sure where it's gone? Oh, I don't know, Surf Monkey. I don't know. All right, let us deposit. So we have 17 million at the moment. So we're doing all right, aren't we? Let's deposit like 80,000. Whoops, 80,000. I assume our next letter comes at 20 million. Or it might be higher than that, I'm not sure. 25. Um, cool. So I'm holding on to that. I need to just sell these flowers, but that's that's okay. There's no rush. Um, what was I gonna do? Diving. I should probably do some diving. I feel like if the luck is that good, man, I saw it and I was just like <laughs> astounded. It kind of like spooked me because it was huge, and then I was like, wait, I need that. So yeah, it was like just hiding behind this tree. Pretty good. Let's see, who's who's around right now? Have we been inside Robin's house on stream? I'm not sure if we have. She's not in right now though, that's kind of unfortunate. But hey ho. Do should we do a little a little bit of a dive? A little bit. Oh, I should probably you know what? Here. Let me put my stuff away just so that my inventory is not constantly full. Or are you trying to link stuff? Uh, that won't that won't work, I guess. It should be um, on my page if it exists. I don't know. I can check after. Tammy, you suck. <laughs> Take my dress. Wear it. Wear the beautiful outfit that I've picked out for you. Carefully selected. Can I put this away yet? Not right. Um. I need to wait on it to no longer be a lost item because look I've been collecting them so I've got the pouch the paper bag and the mitten so I'm just waiting for this one last thing to go um, Anthony Gain, thanks for following friend heard that ding there so I can put that there and then I just need to get rid of the flowers don't look at the junk <laughs> don't look at the junk in this room it's so bad <laughs> It's only going to resolve itself when I get my second villager to move in. My second player character. And like I said, that's going to be like up here. Wait. There is unweed. No weeds. No weeds allowed in this town. But yeah, I figure, so the villager houses are three wide. Which means the player character will come out from like one space on each side. So I think it will fit. I'm pretty sure, because then it's kind of tucked away, it's not um, so in your face. Hey Frita, yo. Can't believe you changed your catchphrase. Max House in a really nice spot, I know I was just saying. <laughs> yeah, it, it is a nice spot to be fair, I was thinking about it and then I decided to put my house south of the river instead. But yeah, our player two for sure will go there. Because then it doesn't interfere with the layer of the town and everything. I don't need to worry about any of that. Because I was also potentially going to put it up here. But then I wanted to have this little garden bench area. So we did that instead. Um, Diving. Let's do it. For like 20 minutes. And then we'll have... <laughs> we'll have a break. And hit some rocks with our shovel. Because... Gosh, all of the exciting things happen here on this stream. Wow, <laughs> like the most exciting things. I'm gonna surf with, or surf? Swim with my shoes on because inventory management. <laughs> so we are looking for the smallest shadow to dive for. And it's usually acorn barnacle. And it can very rarely be two other things. And I have caught one of those other things, but I need the other one. The other other one. So yeah, the joys of catalog filling in Animal Crossing. What's this down here? Oh, that's the size we want. Let's see if maybe it's first try. 
<laughs> no, <laughs> it's not first try. <laughs> I mean, that was probably a little bit too much to ask for, considering that the Petaltail Dragonfly just flew right in our path and then didn't fly away. That was real nice, so that's okay. I, I don't blame the game at all for that one. <laughs> Maybe like within 10. I feel like within 10 is probably good, especially considering how many times we've tried to find this thing. That's an acorn barnacle. Damn. <laughs> it's such a weird one, isn't it? Some things you'll just get straight away without trying and then some things you'll be going at it for hours. Like the giant isopod on the island diving took me, I think it was about three hours. Oh, is this a scallop? Uh, no it's not. I don't want to dive for it. It's just gonna take up an inventory slot. It's probably seaweed or, or kelp or something. Ugh. I got jellyfished. You have weird what, luck with keeping to ca keep catching moray eels. Oh my gosh. Moray, moray eels, are they... They're not island exclusive, are they? You can catch them normally. Or are they island exclusive? I can never remember. Oh no, it's the ribbon eel that's um, island exclusive, isn't it? Which is a real weird looking one. Uh, let's try this. I feel like I need to sneeze. It might be happening. Yep. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> uh, big sneeze. Oh my gosh. It was brewing for a while. Usually my sneezes are quite sudden, but that one I could I could feel it. I could feel it fast approaching. <laughs> Thank you, Surf Monkey, for the bless you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Oh man. My nose is all tingly now. Super chill. Super chill evening diving. Sea bass are the worst? Yeah, for sure they're the worst. I don't even think there's much in this game that is the same size as the sea bass shadow. Because the the coelacanth shadow is slightly different. So I don't know, I mean at this time of year for sure there is nothing else that has that same size. Perhaps in the winter there are other things that have that size. What the heck game? the heck was that? Garbage. Like, I was right on top of it and it despawned. Ah. Uh, <laughs> the rage is- the, the diving rage is already returning. <laughs> Emily, thank you for following, friend. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Stupid diving rage. It always happens. <laughs> There's something bubbling there, but I, I didn't see it before. Uh, that's not what I need. Trying to find a blue marlin. Oh, is that the same size? See, I think I got my blue marlin on the island because it's way easier. Um, to find, you know, certain things on the island. I think I got it when I was looking for the whale shark. I caught like all of the finned fish that I needed and the moray eel and the blue marlin so I caught it out of season actually. It was like one of the first things that I caught back in June-ish. June-July-ish. It's gonna be nice when um, winter comes because we'll get access to all these fish that you can't just, oh I'll just go to the island and get it. Um, so I, yeah, I'm looking forward to the winter stuff. Nice. What do you get in winter? Like the string fish? That's the big one, isn't it? The river. The big river catch. You can get, um, I think it's spider crabs and stuff in the, in the ocean for diving. These are not the things that I require, game. All of these shadows are too big. What about this one? It's also too big. 
All right, we'll do another lap, shall we? <laughs> I'm really happy about the petal tail though, because having to go to, a, to the island and get a tour that's gonna spawn them is a little bit of a fiddle and it does feel a teeny weeny bit cheaty. So I'm happy that we got that on, on stream as well. It's another acorn barnacle. Yeah, on, on, to get it on stream feels real good. Your luck is bad, keep trying, and now you've got a second more eel. Oh no. That sucks. Keep at it. Oh, I don't want to go to the... Oh, dang it. I landed on the secret beach by mistake. Such, such secret. So beach. Wow. Oh, you got the clip? Cool. Yeah, I think I've got, um links turned off for hosting and chat. Wait, is this a... No, it's not. See, the, the waves made that shadow look like scallop-sized, and it wasn't scallop-sized, and that made me sad. So I think... Didn't we get all of the Pascal pieces last time? Last week? I think we got the last Pascal furniture piece we needed. Unless there's more than 10. I know that we got 10, but I can't remember if there's more than 10 in that set. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? We swim, swim. Look how close that fish is spawned to the dock. This is the thing about having this kind of like, this dock placement with the little diagonal. It's really weird because sometimes you'll get sea creatures in there as well and you can't dive for them and it's really, like, really annoying. Dang it. Jellyfish, no. Don't do it. Don't hurt me. No more. Oh, man. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll do some diving for another, like, ten minutes. And then we'll switch up the exciting gameplay to hitting rocks with my shovel. <laughs> uh, the Animal Crossing streams, they're always like... They always kind of deteriorate into me slowly losing my sanity. But, um, it needs to happen. I'm determined to fill my encyclopedia. This is not a scallop, actually. The right size, but it's not moving correctly. It needs to be all erratic for it to be a scallop. What's this up here? I can't even see it. Oh, no, it's not the right size. It's moving pretty fast, though. I don't remember what that one is, actually. Maybe a, the, the shrimp? There's a shrimp, I think, that might move that fast. All right, you will keep going here. You are potential scallop. How do you move? Oh no, wait, it's gonna despawn. Oh no, it's not a scallop. Okay, <laughs> never mind. We can ignore. Full ignore. Sploosh. Jellyfish. I guess jellyfish are literally just pitfall seeds, but ocean version. <laughs> Imagine if they got like a tricky pitfall seed equivalent, so it was like a really, really small jellyfish that was really annoying. More so. They're already pretty annoying. Dang it, game. Oh, I think I hear the train. Can we look at the train from here? No. I think I just heard the train like going over the tracks. That's kind of cool. You can maybe see it from here. Yeah, I probably could have seen it if I was swimming out a little bit more. The track just stretches on into other towns. I also hear a balloon. Oh, there's the balloon. <laughs> it looks pretty cool to see like the balloons floating over the ocean. Oh, the jellyfish is coming. Watch out. Yeah, the balloon. I think it just floats upwards into the sky and then fades away. Still on my silver balloon badge. 
So I've got a few more to pop until I get the gold badge. But there's plenty time for that. It actually happened way quicker than I thought it would. Phineas giving me the silver badge. That's pretty cool. Oh, watch out for the boat. Sorry, Cap'n. <laughs> beep beep. Tricky jellies? Yeah, I know. It's like bloopers in Mario that are followed by the little bloopers. The mini bloopers. I don't know if they have a different name. It's like that, but, but jellyfish. You are not what I need. We're really slowing down here. With the old, the small shadows. Reels really slowing down. You have red in your town? Nice. I've still got um, quite a ways to go <laughs> with old red. Gotta fill that museum. I don't actually know off the top of my head how many art pieces there are. I want to say 40 something, which would mean you'd have to play for at least 40 weeks, right? If you got everything once. Like, there hasn't been a week yet where I've not needed the thing that he's given me. But that must happen, like, you must run into duplicates. It's another acorn barnacle. <laughs> um, I haven't run into duplicates yet. I should probably um, make a list of everything and then I can trade with other people who are missing another acorn barnacle. <laughs> Yeah, I think we should set up like a little trade thing um, where we trade art pieces because I imagine that people get stuck on like the last few. So we could do like a little trade thing. That could be fun. Oh, this is a scallop. Try and get... Oh no! Come here! Come here! There we go, I got it. Is Pascal here or are we too close to the shore? Oh no, I think we're too close to the shore. Dang it. Pascal, no. <laughs> Trying to catch you your dinner here, you dummy. Oh well. <laughs> we'll get him next time. Are there any short games you'd recommend for first, a first LP? Um, gosh, I don't know. I think a lot of Kirby games are pretty short, right? I haven't played an awful lot of Kirby, but... Acorn Barnacle, yeah. <laughs> Acorn Barnacle with all the spaces in between the letters. That is, a, that is perfect. That, that expresses exactly how I feel about the situation. <laughs> um, short games? Pikmin's pretty short. That's a fun game. Um... B -b -b what have I played that's short? Well, I played Zeo Drifter, but Zeo Drifter is only short if you're good at it. <laughs> but Zeo Drifter is a fun one. Um, oh, dang it, jellyfish! I think like games games are long. Like the other short game I played is Disney's Aladdin for the Sega uh, Mega Drive, Acorn Barnacle. So like, <laughs> I don't know, it's a weird one. Short also means different things to different people. Um, you know what you could do actually, there's a very good website called How Long To Beat and it lists average playtimes for games that people input their playtimes for like beating it, completing it, you know, all that kind of stuff. Oh, there's a fin. Swim into the shark, the shark. I'ma get you shark. Rawr. Got the shark. But yeah, How Long To Beat is a really good site, so you can maybe search on that with, you know, for shorter games. Yeah, the, the Discord is definitely the thing I need to do. I just know absolutely nothing about Discord, and I know it's easy to find out, it's just I need to sit down and do it. Um, I'm still kind of like, I'm just trying to keep up with content as much as possible. It's not giving me a huge amount of time to work on things like my Twitch assets and stuff, so like, it's on the to-do list. Um, when I have a quieter week, it'll be a little bit easier. Dragon Quest Nine, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that short game, Dragon Quest Nine. jeez. I mean, the main story is only like, what, 40 hours? 
It's just everything after that that becomes less short. <laughs> Peggy one is kind of short, Pitman 2 on the other hand, I watched Chagu Conroy's Let's Play of it. I love his reaction to the water race. Oh man. That's a that's kind of that's like an old LP now, isn't it? But it feels like really recent. Get over here! Don't you do it! Okay. <laughs> the water ra race is is not fun. I've never finished Pikmin 2. Um but I know it's a super long game. It's just <laughs> One of those things I need to play, for sure. At least we got Pascal. Yeah, I almost chased him out the boundary, but I didn't quite. I completely ignored his message. <laughs> oh, I was skipping through the text too fast. Where is he? There he is. Shall we watch him eat his scallop? Come on, buddy. Do a nom. Do a nom on the scallop. You gonna do it? You gonna eat your scallop? Hello? <laughs> Pascal? Pascal? You gonna do an eat? Where you going, bud? Oh no! No! Where you going? He's still gonna eat it because he's swimming away! Wow. Got majorly debated by Pascal there. The heck? I guess we were too far to the right of the map so it didn't trigger him eating his scallop? Bizarre, I've never seen that happen. For science, we discovered something new for science. We're all about science on this stream. Testing out dumb things <laughs> that nobody's tested before. Or just randomly discovering them. That also happens. Oh no, wait, that's not what we want. It's too big. Surface. Up we go. Can I try clipping this? I'm new to Twitch and may mess up. Well, no, go for it. You're free to do whatever. Um, do your best. <laughs> It'll be a really, like, dumb reaction, probably. So, <laughs> enjoy your bad clip when it happens, I'm sure. <laughs> Man. I can't open my inventory while I'm swimming, can I? Um, I just wanted to see how many acorn barnacles I had. I want to be at least five, surely. I mean, it's almost seven o'clock, so we're gonna switch things up a little bit here. Uh, you're not what I need either. Dude. Bloop. Bloop, bloop, bloop. A question to people who have played Pikmin, now that I'm thinking about Pikmin. Would you rather play the GameCube version or the new play control version on the Wii? What What is... Is one better or does it just depend on which one you play first? Or how, how, do, how do people feel about that? Is there like a really strong debate about this or is it just kind of like, yeah, whatever? Because I play Pikmin 1, I play Pikmin 1 like at least five times and I played it on the Wii. I had the new, the new play control version and I thought it was pretty good. Um, I can't really imagine playing it with a controller. <laughs> so I don't know like if that's a, a hot topic or if it's just whatever you're used to, really. Because I do have Pikmin on the GameCube. I don't think I have Pikmin 2 on GameCube. Finally got the fish you needed. Nice! You're doing better than me. <laughs> Minus the petal tail. Sometimes it just takes time. It's just one of those situations at the moment. We've got one more minute. A hot minute. It's about to become seven o'clock. There it goes. 
Well, I guess we'll do like one more swim up to the top and then we'll go and try and find the stupid house centipede. <laughs> I don't know which is worse actually. I don't know whether diving is worse or hitting rocks with my shovel is worse. Probably diving is worse because it requires me to press the A button a lot. So it's more um, strenuous, I suppose. <laughs> Feels that way. Just started storming where you are, might disappear depending on stuff. Oh gosh. Power cut. Oh, jellyfish. <laughs> it's really weird that that happened the same time I said power cut and I just heard this noise and I was like, what? No, please no. This is not what I need right now. Are you what I want? Ah. Uh, I don't think it's gonna happen. Alright, we're gonna turn around. We're gonna go back a little ways down. And then we're gonna get old, get out the old shovel. The old shovel. And the bug net. So also because it's 7pm, the, the scary bugs are out. We're gonna have scorpions and tarantulas running around. So I might I might get spooked by some spooky bugs also. Centipede is worse in your opinion. I mean objectively yes, but this requires more focus, I think. So less focus is better for me in this situation. You have a much lower chance of dying from hitting a rock. Yeah, but if I'm in the water, the scary bugs can't get me, so... Yeah, it's a bit of a weird one. Alright, oh my gosh, look at our inventory. <laughs> oh, this is some fresh hell that I'm in right now. Oh, it's very upsetting. Oh, your phone signal might go, I see. All right, well, good luck. I'm gonna just go and sell all of these stupid barnacles and then we'll we'll begin the, the house centipede hunt. Oh gosh, the worst kind. <laughs> well, no, scorpion and tarantula hunting is much worse in terms of bugs. All right. Please take away all of these things that I do not want. Oh, he gave me the flooring. I don't need it because I have it already, but that's cool. Take these things. Thank you. <laughs> Still in my wetsuit. Hold on. I need to I need to readjust here. Become non-wetsuited. Please. So I need to remove this. I need to put this away and take this out and take this out and put that away and equip this and pop that there. All right, <laughs> we're ready. We're set. Go. It wasn't the first rock, guys. Well, there's a pill bug. There's something. Oh yeah, because there's this really awkward rock here that I can't actually see because of the tree. So I'll need to listen to the the sound stuff. Alright. So yeah, if, if we find a scorpion or tarantula, I'll probably freak out and make some dumb noises. And then I will try and figure out if there's a villager nearby. Because something that I've read is that villagers will react when there is a tarantula or scorpion nearby and I have no idea what this looks like. So for science, I'm going to try and have one on screen and talk to a villager and see if they have a reaction. Because I've read that this is a thing and I'm yet to see it. So we shall see what happens. Also, I removed a couple pieces of um, paving here as a potential design option. So I might put some flowers between the houses for these sort of long areas where the houses are gonna be. That might look cool, it might not, but I'm gonna try it out when I have some cool flowers. I, 
think it'd be good to find a flower that matched the, the aesthetic of the house. So we could have a blue or a pink flower and then an orange flower. Something like that I think would look cool. Also I hear this balloon, I don't know where it is, but I don't have my slingshot out right now. So I am not interested. Just need to remember the route that I was taking before to get to all of my rocks. Because there's the other awkward rock here. Oh man, remember when we found our tarantula and it walked behind my house? <laughs> That was such a nerve-wracking experience. It like walked behind the house and I'm praying that it doesn't fall in the river. And I caught it, which was great, but man, my heart was beating so fast because I couldn't see it. So I was like adjusting the camera and stuff, trying to see this, and then I just swung my net blindly and I caught it fortunately, but it's the most heartbreaking thing. You're trying to catch the scorpion or the tarantula and then they just walk into the river <laughs> and you just hear a little sploosh and that's them gone forever feels bad man all right well we found one pill bug never quite sure if entering and exiting houses has any benefit um for me they seem to spawn regardless Perhaps it's worth doing, but I don't know. What I tend to do is scare off any bugs that I see along the way. And that way, that kind of resets the spawns. So I suppose entering and exiting a building would be more efficient. But it takes time, you know? So again, there, there's probably... I could do the save and continue thing. Which we did before. Um for something else that we were looking for, but I'm not sure that it makes a huge amount of difference. So for right now, I'm just gonna run around without going inside and we'll see how it goes. And if I see any bugs like on trees, I'll just spook them and that should hopefully help things. So far, I think we found like two pill bugs. So, they're, they're here. There are creatures, just not the creature that I want. I mean, in game I have good luck today, but I don't think that has any bearing on spawns. Be cool if it did though. I wonder if they'll make something in New Horizons where rare stuff spawns more often because of luck. Assuming they still have the, the luck mechanic. Boop. Mac, I'm gonna have to catch the, these fleas because I hear the little noise every time I walk past you and it's getting kind of annoying. There you go, buddy. Oh, got it. Thank you, Nicola. I was wondering why I was so itchy. Jeez. You silly dog. Oh, look, there's a, a balloon. Dogs and their fleas, though. We still have three puppers in her t in our town. I don't know how we've managed this. We have Biscuit, Mac, and Marcel. We have three good doggos. It's all about pill bugs, it seems. Nothing out of that one. That's the rock I need to be careful with, just because it's kind of blocked by the tree so if a bug flies out I may not see it but usually they make a sound another pill bug I'm afraid we don't need that one do, 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 do. speaking of mac I'm eating mac and cheese oh my gosh that sounds real nice I actually have some pizza left over from dinner last night that I'm going to eat after the stream. I'm looking forward to it. It's a, a cheeky pizza. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty hype for pizza. And look at these two, just hanging around near the orange flowers. They're both orange looking. Jeez, I almost dug up my orange roses. That would have been, <laughs> that would have been real bad. Marcel moved out of my town not long ago. Yeah, I've talked to him a little bit. He's kind of like 
a weird design. He's like a little clown dog. But he's kind of, um, he's got like a look of zen about him as well. Like, his design is pretty cool looking. He's like a French clown dog. I imagine he would be friends with Pietro, you know, the clown sheep. Oop. Nothing here. Nothing here, oh my god. Don't yawn. Don't start that. It's not even late. It's not even late. Pill bugs. I mean, at least we're getting spawns. That has to be encouraging, right? Maybe? No? Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Boop. Pizza's your favorite food? Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely up there. It's definitely a good one. Um, my pizza has chicken and bacon on it. It's, it's pretty good. Nope, nothing there. Well, that's actually something I didn't do. I didn't look and see what was for sale at the, at the campsite. Or the campgrounds, sorry, because the campsite is the tent, this is the campgrounds. Fire is lit. Harvey's just having like a little nap. Man, I don't want this stuff. Jeez. Give me some good stuff. <laughs> I'm always like really tentative to spend my meow coupons because I'm so aware that I need to buy all the amiibo furniture. And I haven't done it and I need to save my meow coupons for ordering cool furniture pieces, but man. It's gonna take so much time. Also, because I'm playing on a 3DS XL, not a new 3DS, I would need to set up my NFC reader and I don't know where it is at the moment. So I need to also get on that so I can do some amiibo stuff. I think what would be good is um, we should play some some island tour, um, the mini game that you play on the 3DS. Cause that's like, quite complex and really fun to play so i think um for future animal crossing streams like when because we kind of we don't have a huge amount to do in town nowadays like we're just kind of waiting on stores upgrading and people moving in like i've done the main sort of portion of of playing and designing i think it'd be good to play like the normal game for like the first hour or so and then do a couple of um island stuff with the the mini game but the problem is i either need play coins or amiibo cards to do it and i'm like i can barely remember to get play coins for my fortune cookie <laughs> let alone remember to get enough play coins to play a lot of the island stuff so i think when i get my nfc reader i'll grab some amiibo cards and we can play with characters and see what abilities they have and everything. Because I think actually the amiibo cards that came out that are specifically designed for that, so you've got like Rosie and Stitches and Goldie with the little like adventure hats on. Those three actually have really good abilities. Um, the cats can catch more fish. Um, the bears, they smell out honey, I think. And what does, wait, the cat, the bear, the dog, I forget what the dog does. I think the dog can maybe move further, but all of the different animal types have different abilities. And it's really cool. Like, like I say, it's fairly complex. Maybe I should do like a YouTube series on how to play that. I'm sure people will have done that, but it'd be kind of funny to see how it goes. Yeah, I think that could be some good padding for future Animal Crossing streams for sure. Because things things get pretty quiet, you know. After the first kind of couple months, I'd say, of an Animal Crossing town, there's definitely like a big lull in things to do because you're kind of just waiting on stuff happening. So I think that could be fun. Because I put a lot of time into it. I've not played it in quite a while, but I definitely had fun playing it. The dogs sniff things out. Okay, cool. So they can tell like what's in the grid next to them or something. It's 
crazy to think it's been a little over two months that you've been streaming. Yeah, literally just, just over two months. Yeah, I think it was July, or sorry, June 22nd. It, yeah, like definitely time has moved pretty fast. It's kind of weird. Um, it's also weird to think that the amount of content that I can produce, if I do, you know, each stream is two hours and then I've also got videos, like the, the actual amount in time of content I'm producing is kind of nuts. Like it's great but it's it's quite bizarre because this is probably the most active I've been on YouTube in a few years probably since playing the first series of Animal Crossing New Leaf for sure I think this is the most active I've been which is great like I've just had the time to do it not that I have buckets of time <laughs> there's definitely stuff that I'm not doing that I want to catch up with but it feels good to just be able to produce some content fairly regularly. Because there's still a couple times where I'll miss streams and stuff because, you know, stuff happens. Um, life gets in the way sometimes, but I think I've been doing pretty well, so I'm, I'm proud of myself. For sure. Pill bugs, dang it. You got the centipede? Oh, congrats. The regular centipede or the house centipede? Because I haven't even seen regular centipedes. All I've seen are pill bugs. <laughs> and I'm specifically looking for the house centipede, which is even rarer than the centipede, which is even rarer than the pill bug. And look at all these balloons I'm missing. So many balloon. Dang it, I keep, I keep forgetting to get this one up here. There we go. Oh, I was a normal centipede. Well, you're still having better luck than I am, so good job. <laughs> Just gotta keep at it, you know? I feel like I remember doing this for a really long amount of time on the Wii version. I think it was Let's Go to the City. Otherwise known as City Folk. Depending on your region. The one Animal Crossing game that I just didn't play that much of because it required a TV and you know at the time I was still like you know living at home like a child um, so I it was always a kind of battle for the TV like I need to play Animal Crossing and it's like well I want to watch this and that was kind of the how that worked out um, yeah Wild World is definitely my my jam because I didn't actually have a GameCube to play the original Animal Crossing so that's something that I've never played which I kind of feel bad about because I know it's such a, a huge deal to people but my first game was Wild World so that's where I'm at the DS man such a good system like wow the DS is so good so many good games and also I think the DS is particularly special to me because it kind of represented my jump from casual gamer to like proper gamer. Like I would be excited for video games coming out, I'd know what was coming out, you know, I, I know what I wanted to play. Oh my dudes! My dudes! My dudes! We did it! We got the house centipede! Make yourself at home in my net. Oh, look how creepy it is. Oh, it's so gross looking. Oh, my headphone fell out. My earphone. <laughs> oh my gosh. Out of nowhere. Oh, dudes. Oh, that felt real good. You got the petal tail dragonfly and the house centipede today? Wowee. All right, we're going straight to the museum before I lose it somehow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Is that a real bug? Yeah, it's super gross looking. <laughs> Look at pictures at your peril, friends. 
At least new Horizons will be both TV and handheld. I know, it's gonna be so good. It's so perfect for Switch. I'm so excited. Oh man. Here, take this disgusting thing away from me, please. <laughs> Do not like things with lots of legs. Too many legs, take it away. Oh, perfect. Do we dare look at it in the catalog? I feel like I don't want to, but... Where is it? Like, right at the end? Here it is. Oh, there's so many legs. It's the fact that, like, there's only so many pixels. So the legs, like, can't quite figure out which pixel they're part of. Oh, we did it, though. <laughs> you know what that means. We get to go diving again. Yay, said nobody ever. <laughs> Oh, this is the last stream in August, so it'd be really appropriate if I could catch all the things. Be really good. We'll try. We will try. Oh, gosh, such a such a thrill. <laughs> just out of nowhere, I'm just talking about Animal Crossing, and then boom. All right. I'm gonna release this flea into the world because I can't be bothered going to retail. We're going back into the ocean, baby. <laughs> oh, don't wanna. Don't wanna, but I gotta. The worst part is, in September, there are more things that we can dive for. So it would actually be technically be more efficient for me to wait until September to do this. But because I'm really stubborn, I want to get it now. I want to be completely up to date with August. So, it's all my fault. It's all my fault, for sure. <laughs> Alright, let's go swimming. Just checked your rose breeding ground and got several pink roses. Nice! I actually need a lot of pink roses because I want to decorate my flower arch because it has red and pink roses in it so I need quite a few because right now I'm breeding flowers on the beach but I might actually move it to somewhere else to give it some more room because I think it's not operating at peak efficiency. It needs to be somewhere, because I've got patterns placed all over my town to kind of force villagers to move in where I want them to. So it's not ideal for flower breeding. Scare the shark. I'm gonna scare the shark. Roar. Bye bye shark. <laughs> Sees shark. Swims towards shark. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that seems right. That seems like the correct thing to do in that situation. No problems there. Use some pink roses for your peach castle house? Of course, yes. I'll check it out, um, I think in my own time. But I'll like tweet you when I've checked it out. Let you know what I think. I'm sure it's super cool. Oh look, this could be it. This could be the one. Not the one. <laughs> it's never the one. Although there is another one next to it. Can we reach this because of the stupid pier? Yes, we can. Oh, thank goodness. Still not the one, though. <laughs> Are you excited for Sword and Shield? I am. I kind of forget that it exists a little bit, but I am excited. I think the region looks beautiful, and I'm especially excited to play it because it's based on the UK, which is where I'm from. So yeah, I'm excited. For sure. Roxy, you waking up? <laughs> I just heard her yawn. She's like still got her eyes shut though. I think she's still half asleep. You let me know if you wake up, okay? I feel like she's not been on stream in ages. She interrupted my videos the other day though. I think that was that was the one I uploaded yesterday, wasn't it? She like jumped up mid recording and started like rolling around on my desk and I'm like, cat, you you cannot do this right now. Um So that was kind of annoying 
albeit very cute, of course. I, I love her, but geez, she just knows the exact time when to interrupt. Gosh dang it, Roxy. Because it's not as bad when she interrupts a stream because it's just like, oh, it's the cat and then I'll just get back to it. But with the recording, you have to like stop what you're saying and then, you know, remember what you're doing and yeah, it's not so good. <laughs> Definitely not so good. She is cute though. I was trying to think, um, so I was, I was making or wanting to make tier two and three sub emotes just because I can. Um, and I wanted the tier three to be gold. And then I was thinking that the tier two be silver. However, she's pretty silver already, so I might make a rainbow one for tier 2, and then a golden one for tier 3. So that I can have normal Roxy, rainbow Roxy, and golden Roxy. <laughs> oh man. So much Roxy. Uh, or you. Are you what I need? You are not what I need. You haven't seen anything of Sword and Shield? Cousin told me it's Switch exclusive and that it's the same mechanics as Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Um, it does not have the same mechanics at all. It's a fully fledged Pokemon game, so they are wrong, friend. It's um... It's like battles, like original games. Not um, just throwing the Pokeball. Because like, I really liked Pikachu and Eevee as a... If you th the thing that I always say about um, Pikachu and Eevee is if you think of them not as main series games, they are amazing. Um, I fully understand that people don't... People want the full catching experience, yada yada yada. But as like a side series, I love them. I want them to do it with every generation. Well, not every generation, but like Johto, basically. Because <laughs> um, they're so cool, like they feel so real. Like the animations and like the environment, the colors, like everything just feels so real and it's a complete joy to play. So, but yeah, um, Sword and Shield are, are like your traditional experience for Pokemon. You think rainbow would be better for tier 3? Yeah, it's kind of a weird one because I figured gold for tier 3, which works with silver being tier 2, but I just feel like silver is kind of pointless because she is silver. Um, I don't know. You feel- see, gold is like gold though. I feel like gold would have to be tier 3. So if it wasn't rainbow, what what would you think I should do for tier two? That's the that's where I'm at at the moment. <laughs> I'm like, what what do for tier two? Bronze. That's weird though, because like rainbow exists as a as a concept, so I don't really want it to be like exclusive to tier two. But at the same time, I don't know what to do for tier two. It's a weird one. Crystal, yeah. <laughs> oh damn it. <laughs> um sorry friend, I'm I'm playing on my own today, but um yeah, I'm I'm just kind of chilling, just doing my own thing. So I'm not inviting people in at the moment. This could be it. This could be it. It was not it. <laughs> Freaking acorn barnacles, man. They're everywhere. Like, they're actually everywhere. Oh, Roxy. Did you do a sneeze? Oh no. Roxy did a sneeze. Etchu. Oh. She just jumped down. She's here. I can, you can see her tail. Roxy? Ah. Hey, honey. Yeah, hi. You gonna cause trouble? Or are you gonna be good? 
I bet I know the answer. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Roxy, my days are numbered. Hey, stick. <laughs> the timing. You gonna be good? She's like under my desk. Don't know what she's doing. Probably biting cables. Her favorite pastime, cable biting. Hey, you wanna come say hi? Here. Oh no, not like this. <laughs> oh, stupid cable. If it gets knocked, it like... <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <sighs> Roxy, look what you've done. Look what you've caused. Here we are. Um, can I put it down without it disconnecting? Okay, perfect. Hi, are you okay? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she just did a massive yawn. It was very cute. Oh, you're so cute. You gonna let me lift you up? I'm just being constantly bit by jellyfish in the game. <laughs> You good? You just woke up, huh? Do you need some food? Here, I'm taking my headphones out. You want to come say hi, and then I'll feed you. How does that sound? How does that sound? Here she is. Oh, here she is, though. You gonna put your paws? Ah. <laughs> uh. Here she is, the best. She is the best. Huh? You're the best, huh? Yes? <laughs> She's too cute. <laughs> okay, Stick. That's fine. Be cool if you can still watch without being subscribed, though. You absolutely don't have to be. So, it's, it's up to you, friend. Whatever you want to do. She's getting stung by jellyfish. How are you? She's purring like crazy. She's not pleased, I know. She. I think that's just her general grumpy face. She is purring though. Are you hungry? You wanna get some food? Is that what's happening here? You gonna make me put the BRB screen on? Hmm? Do that BRB screen. Yeah. I still kind of get over the Roxy emo. It's just her face is just so funny. It makes me laugh every single time I see it. Mwah. Man, the jellyfish, they're like all attacking me. All right, friends, I'm going to put the BRB screen on because she's she's hungry. I know I'm going to I'm going to feed you right now. OK, OK, I'll be two seconds, friends. Be right back. Okay, we're back. The cat has been fed. We can now resume. That was nice though. She hasn't been on the stream in a little while, so. Oh, you're very lucky to see the one and only Roxy. <laughs> uh, she's funny. Oh, <laughs> jellyfish, please. Did you not have enough while I was AFK? AFK away from keyboard, but away from 3DS, AF3, while well, I was AF3. Alright, well, I guess we can just spend the last sort of 20 minutes doing the diving. 
Um, we're not getting the size of creature that we want though, is the only thing. I don't think it's worth diving to catch them because I think they res or they despawn pretty quickly, so I don't think it's um necessarily worth it. Oh there was the train, did you see? It went right over the tracks. That was really cool. How long did the VRB screen take to make? Like seconds. <laughs> I just found like one of the better pictures of Roxy in my opinion. It's one of my favourite ones. And then just put some some text on it. I mean I, I have lots of nice pictures of her. But I think the BRB screen is, is a particularly nice one. Because it shows her eyes really well. Because they're like really wide open. Because that's I think one of the best things about Roxy is her, her green eyes. Because they're a very like interesting colour of green. Because I think a lot of cats have yellow eyes. Acorn barnacle. Because you get a lot of cats with like really bright blue eyes or these sort of amber eyes, but I don't think you see green eyes very often. And also I think probably not on Bengals either. Usually they're blue Bengal eyes or amber. I think um, green eyes is definitely less common and hers are very pretty. Because it's not like they're yellowy green, like they're very much green. So. She's a very pretty kitty, that is for sure. I am very lucky to have her. She's, um. nine years old. Nine and a little bit. So she is, she is very important to me. Because she is very much part of my life. She's my friend. Do, 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 do. Wait, was that something I could catch? Just do a double take here. No? Okay. <laughs> Just my eyes imagining things then. My goodness. Wait, what are you though? You are not what I need. <laughs> They're always spawning in, like, just as I'm rolling off the screen. It's really annoying. Oh, she's back. Was that nice? Was that yummy? Do not bite the cables. You're so bad. Like, you don't even need to get my attention anymore. I fed you. The thing that you wanted has been done. <laughs> Why do you continue to do this? Can I grab this? Nice. I was worried it was too close to the boat. I mean, it's another acorn barnacle. <laughs> Jeez Louise, man. So ridiculous. How long have you had her and do you have any funny stories from when she was a kitten? Um, well, we've had her since she was 12 weeks old. So, nine years and a bit. So, Roxy, uh, stop being bad. Please, you're so bad. Um, yeah, we've we've had her like almost all of her life. So I would have been how old would I have been? Sixteen when we got her. And then she's lived with me so then it was at my parents' home and then I moved out and she came with me, so she's always been with me. Um as a kitten she was just full of energy, as most kittens are. But Bengals especially have this sort of unquenchable um, kind of energy. I'm gonna have to move this cable. She's eating it. So as a kitten, probably until she was about two years old, she was like crazy. Here, she's trying to eat my, my switch cable. There we go. Um, so like she used to just run around, like do laps of the house. That was something that was was really funny. She would do laps of the house, and we had we had carpet in some rooms, and then some rooms were um, like wooden floors. So she would run through the house and then slide along the wooden floor, <laughs> and it like she would properly like power slide around corners. I thought that was hilarious. Oh man. 
But yeah, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of energy is basically Kitten Roxy. Huh. You're still a bit crazy. Even though you're you're old, you still like to play a lot. Um she's very like keen to play and get into mischief still, like she's not lost that. You are so bad. Can you please <laughs> stop eating the cables? She knows she can get away with it because she knows that I'm doing stuff. So I'm not giving her my full attention. So ridiculous. Um, Sapphire Sarah, nine. Thank you for following, friend. I had to think about the Roman numeral then. I was like, nine. <laughs> Thanks for following. I should know that one. I'm playing Dragon Quest Nine right now. <laughs> um, let me see. What are you? Not what I need. You know what might be a good idea? A video series on Dreamtown visiting? Yeah, I've thought about that. I feel like, in theory, yes, it would be pretty cool. I'm just worried that I'd, um, I'd not know what to visit and also maybe I wouldn't know what to say. But in, yeah, like it's something I could think about doing for sure. That's uh, not what we need. Do you have a photo of when you first got Roxy? I have a bunch of old photos, um, none of them to hand right now, but yeah, we've, we've got some kitten photos. She's basically just the same, but less chubby, and her ears are huge because she's a kitten, so their ears are like massive. <laughs> So yeah, she she's actually not really changed. I think the only thing that's changed is she's become more ginger around her face. Like her cheeks are like really gingery now. Um, whereas before she had white cheeks with like the little black dots where her whiskers come out. Um, but they're definitely a lot more orange now. If she's gotten older. But it's not like she can go grey because she's already grey. <laughs> you being good? I hope so. Because I can't see you right now. It's like her safe spot under my desk, you know. She can be close to me and also get into trouble because I can't see her. It's perfect. <laughs> Like giving feedback on times and how people could improve on them. Oh, I see. So more of a, a sort of critique almost. And like talk about bits that I like. Yeah, I could maybe do that. Would that be specific to sort of people who are watching the stream who wanted me to do it? Or do you think that kind of format would work over just any towns? Because I assume there's places where, you know, on Reddit or something where people post like really cool towns that they visited. Because sometimes I see stuff on Pinterest and, and it's like towns that have been really nicely decorated, but they've been decorated through hacking. And it's really frustrating because more often than not they look way better because there's no restrictions as to pro like public works project placement so you can put stuff closer together and it just looks so much better and it's so annoying because I can't do it legit. <laughs> um, it's a bit of a, a disappointing one. Just scaring off all of the sharks as well here. What are you? You're not what I need. Think it could be in this community at first? Yeah, uh, we could do that. It could just be something I do on stream as opposed to a video series. If, if enough people were kind of interested, I could devote um, like a portion of the stream to looking at people's towns like devote sort of half an hour to it or whatever, or just whoever shown up at, at that time. That could work. Cause I'm always sort of wary about inviting people into my town just in case like they're trolls and want to ruin it. But um, 
if I could go to other people's towns, that could probably be like a good alternative. Oh, there's loads going on here. Aha. Maybe this will be the one, finally. <laughs> it's another acorn barnacle. This is so crazy. Like, I know there's other stuff to find. But this is all that I find. Because what was it we got? Was it the flatworm that we found? That was one of the things? I've not even found a second flatworm. So I know that that exists for sure. I mean, I know that what I'm looking for exists, but you know what I mean? It's like until you see it, you kind of feel like, is this real? <laughs> is this real life? I mean, we got the house centipede and the petal tail. So I know I'm asking for a lot to get everything all at once. But even so, the amount of diving I have done for this thing is is kind of absurd. <laughs> we'll see. Like I say, it's not like it disappears in September. Um, it's just me being really like, or slightly OCD and being and wanting to keep up on on everything as the months go by. Because this is the last thing I need for... for August. You're heading off, Dan? Okay, friend. Take care. I'll see you later. What is it you're looking for? I'm looking for the turban shell. Which is supposed to be... Um, after 7pm in the teeny tiny shadow. Same as the acorn barnacle and same as the flatworm. And I looked it up on the, what's it called, uh, the liquify FAQ because I do not trust the wiki at all because the wiki is rubbish. Um, and the, the, the liquify FAQ said that it's a thing. So I'm, I'm trusting it. <laughs> I'm just not finding it though. Soon. Soon TM. Uh. How long an average does it take to ed edit videos? Also what editing software, voice recording software and thumbnail creation tool to use? Um, all right, let me break that question down. So I use the Adobe Creative Suite for all of my everything. <laughs> so um, I use Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop for making my thumbnails. Um, I edit with Adobe Premiere Pro. I render my videos with Adobe Media Encoder. Um, I don't actually use Audition for my sound. I use um, a program called Audacity, which is a fantastic program. Um, so I actually, I capture my microphone through Audacity. Um, and then just save the audio file and edit it in Premiere Pro. So I don't edit sound in Audition. I don't feel like it's necessary. It's, it's good, but um, I think it's a bit too much for what I need it for. Um, what else? What, what else was the question? How long an average does it take to edit? Um, general rule of thumb is it takes me twice as long as the length of the video to edit is probably a good estimate. Um, so that's, yeah, I'd say that's probably about right. So a half an hour video would take me an hour to edit. And then obviously if I want to watch it through, then it's the length of the video again. But usually I only do one pass on editing because I feel like my content's pretty straightforward that I get it right the first time. Um, so I'll obviously I'll check the video is okay before uploading it, but I'll just kind of click through it and check that everything's fine. But I, I don't think I've ever had any terrible editing mistakes, so I, I do pretty good at just doing a one pass through editing. So that's something. Here we go. 
think that was the question. Was that everything in the question? I think it was. <laughs> Apparently 9pm till 4am is the best time to try and get them. Yes, I have seen that. But I'm being like, really pernickety. <laughs> and I'm like, it can appear now, so I should be able to get it. But I think given that this is the last stream in August for Animal Crossing, because next week will be into September, I might try after 9pm just just to get it out of the way because it'd be cool if it happened on stream but it is not necessary given the amount of time that we have devoted to diving in the <laughs> on this stream feels like the proportion is is too much too much diving not enough other stuff so yeah I might um turn my game back on at nine and just give it a wee go. We'll see. <laughs> I really just... Diving Diving is fine in small bursts so I might be done for today. Maybe tomorrow night. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow night we'll give it another go. I think that's probably more reasonable to save my sanity here. What are your thoughts on Mario Kart Tour? I haven't really looked into it actually, to be honest. I saw that it... I got an email about it. But honestly, I, I haven't looked at it at all. I feel like I just cannot afford to have any more mobile games in my life. <laughs> like, I hope it's good, but I don't- I'm not particularly interested in it at all. Like, I didn't even play much of Super Mario Run, and that's an actual, like, platformy game. I'm a lot less inclined to play Mario Kart. But I, I hope it's good. Um, Right now, my, my mobile gaming is just full of Animal Crossing Pocket Camp and um, I've been playing Pokemon Rumble Rush, which finally came out on iOS, like, way later. <laughs> um, but I've been enjoying that. It's like, it's super grindy, but I, I, still, I still enjoy it. I still like it. And I'm kind of, I still dip in and out of uh, Fire Emblem Heroes, which I've never been... I don't sort of devote a lot of time to building units and stuff. It's more just a collection thing for me, like the gacha element I like. So I log in, collect my orbs, do some quests, log out. I don't put money into it or anything. Um, but yeah, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, man. I must play that for at least half an hour to an hour every single day. And when you think about it that way, it's kind of crazy. But I'll play it for 10 minutes multiple times so it doesn't really take up like I'll play it while I'm eating or if I'm waiting on the bus like you know things like that so but yeah pocket camp man and they they gave it the the big update recently so all of the creatures you can find have been rotated around which is just nuts and it's driving me insane because I can't remember <laughs> like what I catch where and stuff like that Oh, the cat's here, everyone. Hello, the cat. You're just gonna sit right on my desk, are you? Is that what you're gonna do? Yeah, there's lots of cables up here. I know, it's like a paradise, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, at least we're ending the stream off here, so I can... She probably wants to play or something. She needs more attention. Oh my god, look, she's right in the... <laughs> she's right in the way. <laughs> oh dear. But yeah, we're, we're just sort of about to end the stream off here, so that probably works out quite well. Honey, no bite. No bite cable. Bite cable is bad. <laughs> it's Roxy's stream now, it is. Do you want, do you want a streaming channel? Huh? Is that what it is? You want to show everyone how pretty you are? Everyone knows how pretty you are. You don't need to interrupt. Everyone knows. Everyone always says when they meet you, Wow, she's so pretty. Don't they? Huh? Yes, they do. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Who wants my Twitch and YouTube? Yeah. Oh, look, there's... Is that Tammy up there on the cliff? I'll go talk to her. See, actually, the, the real reason that Roxy's here is she wants a cuddle. 
And also, I have a, a towel on my desk to help muffle the sound of like cables and stuff hitting against the desk. Roxy just lay on the cable. <laughs> what the hell, Roxy? She wants the towel, is what I'm trying to say. She literally just lay on the cable. Honey, it's a good thing the stream is almost finished. Because you're causing some major havoc. <laughs> what a mess. Alright, anyone have anything for me? Any public works projects? You got brewing? Nope. Anything? Okay. I'll talk to Tammy like one more time to see if she wants to take um, my shirt that I have for her. Yeah, I know. I've been pay I've been playing for an hour. I know. Don't worry about it. Oh, I don't think she's gonna take this this clothing. I mean, the shirt doesn't look bad on her. I just don't want any of my villagers wearing default clothes. You know. All right, she's not gonna do it. All right, it's time. Wait, let me take the, the wetsuit off. Look at all those acorn barnacles. Oh my gosh. Uh, remove wetsuit. Pop that there. And then we'll sit on the rock. All right, <laughs> Roxy, we're done. That's it. We're done for the stream, huh? Now you can have me all to yourself. <laughs> Alright friends, um, that is it for today's stream. <sighs> Forget it, it's fine. You can still hear it, it's just darkness. <laughs> um, that's it for the stream. Um, I'll be back on Thursday for some more Pokemon Sapphire Nuzlocke. Um, if you haven't watched the VOD, you can go ahead and watch the VOD, it's on my channel. Um, it was a crazy one, that's all I'll say, no spoilers. <laughs> but it was it was kind of a crazy one. Um, so we'll be back on Thursday for that. And then should be Dragon Quest Nine videos as normal going out um, tomorrow and Friday. So that's all good, we're actually making progress in the game, finally. It feels like I'm out of the tutorial zone, so that's real nice. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think we will end things off here. If that's okay with you, Roxy. Is that okay? She was just looking at me like, please hurry up. <laughs> All right, I'll say goodbye, friends. Thanks for coming out and hanging out with me on this super chill Animal Crossing stream. It was a good one. We we managed to make some, some good catches today, which is always nice. So I shall say goodbye for now, friends. Um, <laughs> she keeps looking at me. All right, for real, I'm gonna go now. All right, thanks for watching, pals. I appreciate it, and I'll see you later. Bye.